Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're looking at a question from Roger Nielsen, K7PUG. His question is this. A couple of uh, weeks ago, I decided to try FT8 using my Elecraft K3S transceiver. Now, the K3S is their full-size 100-watt transceiver. It is a, a very high-end radio. It's used a lot by de-exposition, de-expeditions because the um, signal chain through it is so clean you can actually have one um, of the K3s on uh, like CW part of the band and another one on the phone part of the band and they won't hear each other. That is how good these uh, receivers are, very high end. Now it's been replaced by the K4, which is a, a full SDR radio all the way through, but the K3S is still a top of the line radio. Following the instructions I downloaded from the Elecraft site, this is for FT8, I made several modifications to my transceiver. I hope when he's talking about modifications, he means menu settings, because he shouldn't have to change anything about the transceiver. Didn't get FT8 working. Confused, I gave up and decided to return the unit to its factory default settings and abandon the project. Hmm. I downloaded the software, I'm assuming uh, firmware, from the Elecraft site and reinstalled it. You shouldn't have to do that when you go back to factory settings. I should take you back to factory settings. However, you may have gotten a newer piece of firmware that way. Now when I turn the unit on, it seems to function properly, except I cannot understand the people who are speaking, transmitting. Well, I think I know why. I hear them, but no matter how I adjust the dials, I cannot understand what they are saying. It seems as if I have flipped a switch, yes you have, that didn't come back on when I reloaded the software, or I burned out an element. Any suggestions? I'm going to make a guess here, if I may, that you are on the wrong sideband because if you were like on 20 meters and you turn it to lower sideband, which it may somehow default to, I don't know the Elecraft, it will sound like Donald Duck no matter how you tune it. Okay, let me just show you a little bit on the board what's going on here. On 20 meters, let's take 20 meters. Here is the dial frequency. If this were AM, you would have a carrier here which is usually represented that way. And then you'd have sideband here and sideband here. This is the upper sideband. This is the carrier. This is the lower sideband. The lower sideband is identical to the upper sideband, except that it's inverted. So if this is low frequency, this is high frequency, then this is low frequency and this is high frequency. Now, to be on uh, sideband, you don't have a carrier. What they use, the dial frequency is where the carrier would be. What they use is what's called a, a, a balanced modulator. A balanced modulator is a very simple circuit and it can be implemented digitally or otherwise. But out of it, it, it kills the carrier. There's no carrier coming through. You have upper sideband and lower sideband. Now, if you are using the standard technique, which I believe the K3 probably does, you're using a filtering technique where you filter out the one you don't want. Okay, now, 20 meters by convention, we use upper sideband, okay? So we filter out the lower sideband. Now, if you have the thing set up to listen on lower sideband, and you listen to here, it's looking for the high frequencies here and the low frequencies here, and this has the low here and the high here, and the entire audio spectrum is inverted. And it's gonna sound like 
complete nutsoid garbage if you do that. So check through your settings. Make sure that if you're listening on 20 meters, you're listening on upper sideband. Anything above 10 megahertz is upper sideband. Anything below 10 megahertz is lower sideband. With an exception I'll tell you about in a minute. But it, it happens to be a leftover from the way uh, one of the manufacturers, I think Drake, implemented their chain. That Just the way it worked, that was how it came out. Okay, now my uh, old uh, FT-101B, I was looking at that last night. You actually have to switch the sideband for each band that you're on. It does not automatically switch. The K3 does automatically switch. So check to make sure, because it is possible to tell the radio to broadcast, broadcast, transmit on the wrong sideband. So I think you're listening on the wrong sideband is what's happening. It, uh, by the way, was used as a scrambling technique at one point until somebody figured out what was going on. So there you go. All right. So... Um, Reloaded the software. Yeah, I think that is what is going on. Um, so give it a try. By the way, the exception to the sideband rule is 60 meters because 60 meters is upper sideband. The federal government uses upper sideband almost exclusively regardless of frequency. It's just the hams that have got this weird flopping thing. And very, I don't know, anybody uses lower sideband on HF except hams. Um, and uh, by the way, if you're using, I showed that AM signal in here where you had a lower sideband carrier and an upper sideband. If you, it's, this is AM, if you use upper sideband and tune it right here, you'll hear it, the AM signal just fine. It's a nice way of listening to AM signals without the noise that comes in on these others right here. So there you have it and uh, thank you for your question and um, if you would like to contribute financially to this series you may by going to decastler.com slash support and it will show you different ways that you can do that. Please uh, subscribe to the channel, click like, and tell others about the channel and until we next meet 73.